Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a 3D cube repeating pattern in Illustrator. Before we get started with this video tutorial, let's look and see what it is that we're going to achieve. I'm going to show you how you can draw this shape in Illustrator and then create it as a pattern. It's not quite as easy as it looks at first instance, but I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. I've created just a brand new RGB document in Illustrator, doesn't matter what size it is. I'm going to select the Polygon tool, which shares a toolbar position with the Rectangle tool. I'm just going to click once in my document so I can set up the type of polygon I want. It needs to have six sides, and I'm using a radius of 300 points. I'm just going to click once. So this is my polygon. To create the shape that I want, I need to rotate it around so that it's sitting on this anchor point. So with it selected, I'm going to choose Object, Transform, Rotate. And I'm going to rotate it 30 degrees. And with Preview turned on, we can see the rotation occurring. So I'll just click OK. And I'd like my bounding box to be reset, so I'm going to choose Object Transform, Reset Bounding Box. So this is now my hexagon, which is my starting point. I'm going to lock it down because in the next step I'm going to be using the pen tool, and I want to make sure that this doesn't move. So let's just go and select a different color for the pen. Let's choose white, and I'm just going to deselect the fill. So I'm just working with a stroke here and I'm going to click on the Pen tool, and I'm going to click right on this anchor point here, exactly on that anchor point, and exactly on this one. So I create a line that is bisecting this shape. Now with the Selection tool, I'm going to make sure that I have this path selected, and I want to duplicate and rotate it. So I'm going to choose Object, Transform, Rotate. And I want to rotate it around 60 degrees, so I'm going to type 60, and I have my preview turned on so I can see the rotation that's happening. Now I don't want to just rotate it, I want to copy it at the same time, so I'm going to click Copy. And I want to do it once more, which I could do by choosing Object, Transform, Rotate, but I can also do it by just pressing Control and D. That would be Command D on the Mac. So let's just click out of the way, and we now have our lines that are breaking our hexagon up into a series of triangles, and we have the hexagon itself. I'm going to unlock it at this point, and now select everything that is on this layer, because I want to start merging this to build the shapes that I need. So with all of these shapes selected, I'm going to click on the Shape Builder tool. And now I'm just going to drag over the shapes I want to join. I want to join these two at the top, and I want to join these two, and then I want to join these two. And having done that, I'm just going to click on the Selection tool, so I exit out of the Shape Builder. But you can see here in the Layers panel that we have these three shapes. So I'm going to select each shape in turn, and I'm going to fill it with a color. This time we're going to use blues and greens. And I'm going to use different shades of these colors. And now this is going to be the shape that we're going to build our pattern from. So I can select it and choose Object Group, and now it will travel as a single object. To make it into a pattern, I'm going to select my group and choose Object, Pattern, Make. I'll click OK, and here's the beginnings of my pattern. Of course, it's got big holes in it right now, so I need to find a pattern option that's going to start closing up these holes. And the pattern option I need is Hex by Row, because that just brings all these shapes right in together and makes my pattern for me automatically. So I'll click Done. Now let's go and test the pattern. I'm going to draw a rectangle shape, and I'm going to fill it with my pattern, which will always be the pattern in the pattern swatch. Now right now we're not seeing it very clearly, but we can see it by choosing Object Transform Scale. 
And this time I'm going to not transform the object, but I am going to transform the patterns. I'm going to do a uniform transform, and I'm just going to reduce this value to a very small amount. For example, 20% and click OK. And you can see that this shape that we've created is now creating this 3D dimensional box repeating pattern. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel. And consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.